What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Deltrade. This is Final Fantasy Texas. 1.3 done quick. Don't have a lot of time today. Let's just get into it. We got Cheryl the Onion Knight right here. And she is super, super broken. So I didn't really talk about what makes the Onion Knight so good in 1.3. But it's essentially that mastery ability that you're seeing right there. Now, it does take the place of your primary job command. So she really only has one skill set available to her while she is an Onion Knight. However, who cares? It means that she can equip every single item in the game. Every single one. Every single one. I don't think there's anything she can't do, honestly. It's just that ridiculous. She can do whatever. And to my understanding, there is actually an Onion Knight in the PSP version of the game, but it doesn't work anything like that here. To my knowledge, in that version of the game, the Onion Knight unlocks more abilities as you master jobs. Uh, that is not what happens here. No, no, no. You can't do anything about that mastery skill set. It just, it, it's essentially a wasted slot. But in exchange, like I say, this girl can do anything. Anything at all. Which is why she has the blood sword there with two hands. And that's another thing that makes her super broken. She has a ton of innates. Uh, the Onion Knight has innate maintenance, innate two hands, innate two swords, and innate equip chain. Which is a little bit niche, that last one, but it can be useful to start a battle with, say, some item that gives you... A temporary status at the start of a fight and then you switch off to a better item but you still get to keep the status so that can be something you can use that for again that's not really the main draw of her no no no. it's that it's all those other innates on top of being able to use any weapon so she's very versatile the only downside is again she doesn't really have a main skill set and also i guess it's sort of a downside in that if you want her to have the best compatibility with your team, you have to save scum a little bit. Well, not save scum necessarily, but you have to redo the Islude fight over and over and over until she comes with a good sign. We didn't do that. We're just going to take what we can get. But if you're super into min-maxing and things like that, just keep that in mind. She's going to do so much damage. Everybody else is just stacked out for max damage because we are going to kill the boss here on this next map ASAP. ASAP. I don't want to play the whole map out. I have done it in the past, but... I just don't really feel like it's worth it. Maybe I should have just thrown steel on Yurchil just for the hell of it, because you can steal the first magic gun in this fight. You can steal the first available magic gun in this fight. Uh, let's put you here. This is going to be quick either way. It, it could go one way or the other, but it's not going to last very long. What I'm trying to do is not give good AoEs to the boss. Which is why I'm setting myself up like that, as opposed to any other way. I, I am really glad that this is only a defeat boss map, though, because this squad right here... Oh man, oh man, this is scary as hell. <laughs> it is probably one of the worst teams yet. But we don't have to deal with any of that if we are good enough. No, let go. And look who it is! Everyone's favorite asshole, we grab. Islu, leave this to me. You gotta get out of here with that girl. <sighs> Damn it, and she had the stone too. You, come this way. Help me, brother, my G. Somebody save me, no! Here's my G. It would be a fatal mistake to underestimate them. Don't let your guard down. Yeah. We Graf here is gonna get a little bit overconfident though. If things go my way, because what I want to do is pull him as close to us as we possibly can. He's incredibly fast, but I'm pretty sure that Yurchil is faster. Yeah. Yes, he is. Okay. This is Wee Grab right here. This time, he has all this good stuff. I forget if he has maintenance or not. I actually think he doesn't. So, if you wanted to steal an Aegis Shield, this would be a good spot to do it. As you see right there, 50% magic evade. Holy crap, man. And these mediators have summon guns, which are just horrifying, because <laughs> they can... As the name would imply, they shoot summons, so they can shoot, like, I forget what exactly all they can pull, but I think it's, like, yeah, I honestly don't remember. They shoot, like, low-level summons, and then I think the best one that they can do is Odin. But from that kind of range, that's absolutely insane, and it's also instant, no kind of, no kind of charge time or anything to that. It's really good, has the same range of any other gun. It is faith-based. So, if you hit somebody with low faith, it does less damage. Now, we also have our first samurai, it looks like. Yeah, samurai are horrifying. I, I don't really want to fight her. Not really. Not like that, man. It's not really that big of a deal. 
Black Robe, which is gonna boost her draw out spells. Cause I think I think some of them are like fire elemental and stuff. Now draw out is actually nerfed in this. Oh my gosh, I could have stolen a flash hat! These things are sweet, look at that. One magic and one speed. Good MP all in one slot. And she also has the best book, which is already <laughs> it's pretty scary. But at any rate, with Yurchil, we're gonna move right here. We're gonna move right about no no no, we'll move here. This is four spaces away. Yeah, that should bring him closer to us, I believe. Maluda, I can finally avenge your death. I don't know about all that. And once again, Weegraph shows up with a harem of girls. I don't know what all of this is about. Are they trying to tell us something here? <laughs> Look, man, all I see is the white knight surrounded by women in a game called Final Fantasy. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> don't kill me, please. Uh, okay, so my G goes down. Of course. Hmm. Well, I did make sure that MCP would be faster than my G, but slower than the rest of these guys. Which is what we want to see. Now, I think if she had pulled an Odin right there, that might have killed me. But they should just straight up do 96, yeah? Okay, so that is the lowest level summon that you can get. And there's two more above it, I believe. Hmm. They are the replacement for the magic guns, because there used to be a different kind of gun for more or less every single, uh... Every single element. This isn't going very well. <laughs> Maybe I should have done something differently with Yurchil. Because I would like to have both him and my G alive. Both of them do good damage, but of the two, my G is far more important here. Yeah, because he has the Whale Whisker. It should be my G who can move there and smack him. Cheryl moves there and smacks him. Flare 2 finishes him off. That's how I see this, anyways. So let's try and pull this off. Hmm. This is one of those really quick and dirty fights, though, because really playing the long game here doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, in my opinion. Well, if this goes left, at the very least, I can maybe kill that samurai, which might keep us in. It might. Probably not. <laughs> I, like I said, I think if we don't kill him right here, we're gonna lose. We grab. You're still alive. Been a long time, my G. Glad to see you again. You've become a dog for the church and have forsaken your ideals. You don't understand how hard it is to fulfill your ideal. Even if your ideal is great, it's just a dream if you can't fulfill it. So how can you fulfill it? You need power. That's the politics of this world. I can see it clearly now. You can't fulfill your dreams without power. You say I'm a dirty dog in the church. Go ahead, I don't care. You can despise me, but I'll be laughing at the end. You'll all submit to me. Let's see about that. Submit to this whale whisker though, bud. <laughs> Thanks for leaving your bath nice and exposed. Oh yeah, look at that, 176. Now he does have defense up innately. And what's scary about this is I think that if I, I think that if I CG save him twice, he might move out of the way of this. <laughs> Maybe. That's, that's my big fear right here. But, look at that, 180 damage. God damn it. There's the CT save. Let's see if this is going to be bad for me. Do I need to rework it? I definitely do, because he just got a turn. I pity you, weak ref. Even if you couldn't fulfill your dream, your people wouldn't have forgotten you. Your ideals and actions inspired your people and even stirred up the old noble customs. Your actions have meaning only if they hold true to your ideals. Maluda and your old comrades would be disappointed with your current choice of actions. If you need someone else to fulfill your dream, it loses its value. Wouldn't you agree? You say you're different. You say you depend on no one. You'll never know the feeling of the meager. You may think you know it, but you've never lived it. You never know. Reality is far harsher than you could possibly imagine. Why do you blame me? You have no right to blame me. I'm gonna blame you for this L though. Fortunately, he just chakras and runs away. So that might buy us enough time. He's still very low. Very, very low. Unless he runs behind the samurai. We can catch him. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, that's gonna be close. <laughs> that's gonna be really close. Okay, so alternate strat. We're gonna need my G to drop a holy on him, I think. We kill her, which is great. But we also catch our Onion Knight, who doesn't die. Because she had worse compatibility with Regina. Haha. -ha. 
Which was, of course, the plan. Don't think that I just lucked out now. No, I knew that all along. <laughs> but I believe that if we can weather this last storm and they fail to kill my Jeep, which I don't really see happening necessarily, unless they want to keep doing stuff like this. Problem is, of course, we've given them really good draw out potential here. Let's see it. Dodge, dodge. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately. I don't know what that really says about me as a player, but. <laughs> Okay, so there's a the Mjolnir. Regina's coming up next, but she has no more MP. No more MP. The only person... Huh. I really need butts to not die. Not butts. I need MCP to not die. Because how I see this going is my G gets dropped. MCP picks him back up. We charge wholly on WeGraph. Fight over. Oh no, but he's so much faster than me. That will never work. That will never work. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I see a way out of this. I see a good way out of this on the next attempt. Not so much right now, though. Especially if that's a healing spell of some kind. Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. We're done. We're absolutely done here. I think. No, not yourself. You. I do think this is El Rapo. But all I need to do is put... White magic, I believe, on Regina. Because the biggest issue there was that we didn't get all the damage in time. And if she had, like, a spirit surge, that would be more than fast enough to get through regardless of CT save. So that is, in reality, what I should be doing. Lightning stab coming out here. We're very done. Oh, yeah, we're very done. Nice crit on my G, by the way. Ha! Oh, could you imagine if that had killed him? Could you... <laughs> Could you even imagine had that done him in? He even moved out of the way of that healing spell. So if I had any more MP or revival at all, we might still be in this. Unless Regina can run up and smack him. Nope, that's going to be it. Yeah, let me just give her a spirit surge, and I think that'll be a done deal, right? Or even short charge, honestly. Either one. All right, so I gave Regina short charge, and I'm thinking that's going to be a done deal. I'm thinking that is the big change right here. She also has white magic this time, so I could probably get a holy with her, in all honesty. I'd be really surprised if CT save somehow interfered with that. Worst case scenario, I can just make her have 7 speed, I guess, because that would basically guarantee this goes my way. Life is short. It's gonna dodge. Of course not. Don't stop me, please. Okay, so that's good. It's really good. Having damage split or something like that would also really help because any kind of damage on him is good damage. He just needs to die. He just has to. Don't get Odin cool. And we're actually probably going to get an HP restore from this, so that's great. Nice. Let's see it. Nice. Okay, so they're going to have to waste even more time. Maybe I don't even need to pick him up. And that's kind of what I was hoping for. HP restore pretty decent on frailer units like that. Because unless the enemy can one-shot you like so... <laughs> They're probably putting you into critical HP, which is just going to bring you back to full. Uh, so as long as HP Restore actually kicks in, you're basically invincible until they can take out a frail unit in one hit. Usually, usually. Not always, not always, but a lot of the times that's how it goes. Which is exactly what's happened here, it would seem. Now all we need to do is pick up my Jeep. That guy has left himself very exposed this time. We can hit him from so many angles. We have every possible angle on this guy. And since my G is technically a little bit faster than the likes... Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. We're just going to stack damage on him. But my G is faster than the Onion Knight, basically. So, we can attack from two spaces away first, then hit him with the Blood Sword, then Holy goes off, then he dies. Theoretically. And failing that, your jewel is also right there. So let's see if this works out. There's 176. Nice. No CT save. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. What is this brave? I actually had about a 30% shot for that to not go off. But there's no way he comes back from this unless he dodges. Like so. Fuck. <laughs> but Yurchill's also right there, so we have another chance to save this. Additionally, unless he gets CT save right here, which he did, unfortunately. Now, had he failed to get that, 
he'd be done for sure. Oh, we still can hit this. Yeah, we can still get this if we hit two. Let's go. One. That's bad. That is bad. On the plus side, I think Regina can still catch him. She didn't move, so a Spirit Surge should do him in. In fact, everything will do him in at this point. It's just a matter of the fact that he's probably going to heal a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Naturally. Oh, I take it he has martial arts this time because he did way more with that. He did way more with that. But he didn't run in the correct direction, which is good. Because uh, the bodies are going to start hitting the floor real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we saw how this went the first time. It's not good. That's for sure. But if we can weather the storm, which we can't now because they're going to heal a big to full. <laughs> Nice 85 there, Onion Knight. I just told everybody you were good. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Draw out can do me in. I don't think that kills her, does it? Really? Because that would be a lot of damage. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's really just... It just comes with the territory, though, when you try to do these fights fast and dirty like that. Because when things go left, you're probably really dead. <laughs> because that's just kind of how offense works, man. Unless... Let's see, who's this chick coming up? Patricia, who are you? I actually think it's one of these, though. No, that's Veronica. It's the guy who can easily kill me. Uh, let's see. Is there some way that I can... Right here, I suppose. This is our best bet. We gotta stack more holies. But she's too fast! Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think she can reach and kill me, though, so that's that. No, she can't. And this should, in theory, put us above the uh, benchmark for that, I hope. If not, we're gonna lose. Uh, that did it, I think. I hope. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. That was my only play, though. That was my only play. Actually, I think we're at, uh, 68 points. <sighs> right? Yeah. Okay. Damn it! Man, I forget if I mentioned this or not. But the Onion Knight used to have Concentrate, ironically. And that would have helped so, so much right here, huh? <laughs> But, I mean, it's, inev it's an inevitability, as you can see. He's going to die to this combination of attacks. We just need to not miss 85s, is all. And since he seriously seems to like this position a whole lot, that's going to help us out. I guess he missed MCB. Yeah, he did. Cool. Good for us, I suppose. There goes Odin. Oh my lord. Stop. Stop. Well, that's fine though. We still kill him between my G and the two girls. One. A two. Three. That's way more like it. I guess it's a good thing that we didn't beat him the first time though, because we got to see more of his dialogue. So that always helps. Ugh. No, I won't lose. I'm a member of the Zodiac Braves with Ares. I can't lose like this. Oh, you can and you have. I guess they were a figment of Weegraf's imagination after all. Where are you? Weegraf! And just like that, it is a done deal, folks. So a lot of the uh, defeat boss maps can be completed in a similar way. I don't necessarily like to do that every single time because, I don't know, I like to mix it up, but it's always possible to just rush the boss down, in most cases. In most cases. Later on in the game, they make it a lot harder to do that, though, I'll tell you that much. That's for damn sure. But Wiegraf, nah. He starts in such a bad spot for himself. If he started further back, this battle would actually be a lot harder. But, uh, that is not how this goes. With his ass sufficiently kicked, and this music getting sufficiently ominous. I think you know what's about to happen here. Are you okay, Wegref? Don't worry about me. 
just go. Alma! Go, Isloon. Sorry, Weegraf. Sorry you got beat like a punk. Wait, Isloon! <laughs> Damn, I can't die here. I can't face my dead allies without avenging Maluda. No, I don't want to die. Look at my G. <laughs> I'm sorry. Holder of the Holy Stone. Promise me. No, don't promise him anything. It's a trick. What? The stone spoke? Holder of the Holy Stone. Promise me. Don't do it, Weegraf! Your spirit will unite with my own. Or with my flesh. See, I can read a little bit faster than that. I read at at least a fourth grade level. Come on now. Is this the stone's secret? Ah, that's a, that, that sound is a little bit shrill, I'm not gonna lie. Your despair and resentment called me. Now promise. No, Wegraf, don't open the- Help me! I don't know what he's trying to say. Don't open that should probably be more like... Don't do it, I guess? I am Valius. The devil. Perfect! Your wish is granted. God damn it! I smell a super boss. I smell an infamous boss fight for sure. <laughs> this guy looks like a pain if I ever saw it. So this is the stone's power. Dude's looking like girl from Mortal Kombat over here. Weegraf, my G, its power is magnificent. No, not just the power. Centuries of knowledge ingrained into my brain. I'll take you by myself. <laughs> Ha ha ha. Easy. Save some for later. We wouldn't want to have to make you do four battles in a row after all. Ha <laughs> ha Superb. Superb power. Ooh. <laughs> not looking forward to that one, man. Definitely not. Simon, can you hear me? Hear... What is this book? Germanic, a disciple of Saint Ajora wrote it. It had been missing till I found it in the underground library. It explains in detail about the Zodiac Brave story. Please, don't try to talk. That's all right. I'm a sinner. I knew of the church's wrongdoing, but said nothing. You can bring them to justice with this book. You can bring Alma back with this book. Simon. Who? <sighs> Now I can finally rest. Take care of the rest, my G. You're just like Balbanes when he was young. Bleh! Bleh! Simon! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. So the plot thickens yet again. I will say that I do appreciate what they try to do with Simon there. Give him a last little bit of redemption before things really go south. To redeem himself in some way, he's gonna give us the Germanic scriptures. One of the most important items in the game, uh, in terms of the story, and actually, what a lot of people probably don't know. Where is it? Treasure? Yeah, you can actually read it. It's quite long, actually. But you can read the whole thing, and it, uh, basically outlines, well, a whole lot, really. It, it explains a lot, honestly. You don't have to read this. The game never makes you do it. But the basic gist of it is that it explains... The Saint Adora is not as she seems. She was actually a very corrupt, demonic presence in a lot of ways. And the church knew about all of this. And uh, we'll see how they feel about us, the branded heretic, having hold of these scriptures in the near future. But needless to say, they're not going to be too happy about that when they catch word. If you're playing this for yourself, I would recommend thumbing through it, maybe. Uh, again, it does fill in a lot of the blanks here. It's not so important to the point that you're going to suddenly feel like you're missing out. It's just one of those things that fleshes out the world more, which can only be good in my opinion. At any rate, that is going to do it for me today. So, 
Thank you for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like rating. It helps me out, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.